Hey guys, this is a drill press. Uh, generally, you've got your on and off buttons right here. There might be some other kind of mechanism uh, that you have to switch off first to get the machine to get going. Um, this is a little laser. This guy's got a little laser, so it shows you exactly where the drill bit's gonna go. Um, you've got a little shield here if you're worried about wood getting into your eyes or whatever. Um, this one's got a little light. I almost broke this. Um, and so here's the key that goes into, this is the chuck right here, just like you have on a power drill. And so it has those three teeth inside of it. Um, only the chuck here, um, it's a little bit harder to open and close, and it should be, because it's gonna be going at a, like, you know, it's got more power behind it than a power drill. So you've got a chuck, uh, or a chuck key, sorry. <laughs> this is the chuck key, which goes into the chuck and helps you open and close the chuck. Um, so, and then this is your wheel, so basically you're kind of grabbing this and bringing the drill bit slowly down into your wood. You've also got a clamp here, because you want to clamp down. Theoretically, this should be attached to the table. Um, it's not. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so you should have a clamp, because any piece of wood that you're drilling into, if it's not clamped down to the table really hard, even if you think you can hold it with your hands, it's not safe. Uh, the drill press is going to grab it and start to spin it. Um, the whole wood is going to like, the whole piece of wood is going to come up and like start to spin on you. So you need to clamp it down to the table as firmly as you can. Um, so it's always good to have a clamp there. And again, I said this table, you can lower, you can lower and raise it. Um, it should have a lock on it back here. And then you can change the angle of it. So basically the lowering and raising idea is that if you have a really thick piece of wood, you can lower the table down itself since you can't really lower the chuck very well. Um, so let me put a drill bit in this thing and we will, I will show you how it works. Uh, they didn't give me power today, so I can't actually turn it on, but uh, let's put a drill bit in this thing. So here we are looking up real close at the, at the chuck on a drill press. Um, so it's the same way that a power drill chuck is set up. This is just a bigger one. It's got those three fingers up there. Um, and when you turn, you can open and close the chuck. Um, with a drill press, you've got a, you've got a chuck key because um, it's a little bit harder to open and close the chuck. So you've got to put the key in there. Um, generally, we keep the key inside of the chuck just so we don't lose it. Some wood shops will have the key attached on like a piece of wire or something, but that's really unsafe because then it could get caught up in the drill bit and cause you know damage to humans or whatever so i've opened up the the drill bit i've opened up the chuck and put a drill bit in here and closed it again so uh, you want to try to make sure your drill bits on as 90 degree as much of a 90 degree angle as possible um, we've got your table here again that can be lowered up and down depending on the thickness of your wood it can also be put on different angles and so one of the things you can do ahead of time is to pull the wheel down and see exactly um, how deep your drill bit is going to go in the wood um, so you can just kind of like get a sense for where to bring your hand you know if, if you only want to go in a certain amount you can take a mental note as to how far to bring your hand with the wheel thing here um, and then you can also adjust the table uh, for whatever height of wood that you have um, this is a piece of plywood ideally you don't really want to um, drill into the side of a piece of plywood because the whole idea plywood it's made of layers um, just like you know two ply toilet paper is made of like layers um, and so they're basically just layers that have been glued together and so drilling into them uh, often will just split the layers will get like a, a nasty hole it's it's not ideal to drill into the side of a piece of plywood but I'm just using it for an example but yeah that's pretty much uh how the drill press goes, you should definitely not just uh, drop the drill bit out of it like that. But yeah, I would be really surprised if you were able to hurt yourself with one of these guys. So um, basic safety with it basically is just um, don't have any hair hanging down, don't have any necklaces, any loose, uh, any loose clothing or any kind of work gloves that can get caught up in the blade. So yeah, that's a drill press. Um, you can use all different types of bits in them, including like the, the uh, whole drilling bits that I showed you. So yeah, drill presses are pretty fun.